Okay, uh, as usual, I like to do these things sort of fresh, like the first time through, so you guys can kind of see my reactions as I'm going through and I'm not like, I don't know, just it's interesting to see it fresh. But my computer likes to incite my hatred, uh, so I went to, as I was recording, I looked over and I saw that, for those of you who use OBS, you can see a little bar that moves every time you talk, which is, you know, how much of your volume it's capturing, right? And that wasn't moving, and I found out that it wasn't recording the entire time. It set my default microphone to nothing instead of what I normally use. I'm not sure why it does that. It randomly does that every so often because I never change it. I never touch it. I never unplug my microphone. Anyway, enough ranting about, <sighs> about stuff I shouldn't be ranting about. Anyway, uh, like I said, uh, I haven't gone through this entire thing. Um, I've gone through maybe halfway, a little less. Um, so we're just going to kind of do try this again, I guess. Uh, like I said, I've already kind of seen what's coming so I'm gonna I kind of skipped through all this like I kind of skipped through just to make it faster because it's a one minute review and we're gonna turn it into a 20 minute video right and then on top of that this thing still moves really slow even at one minute maybe I'll put it up to like double speed uh, one and a half times speed or something but anyway the point being uh, like I said uh, the new well I mean you guys didn't know but whatever for me like I already said um, there's a new episode uh, for the story which is pretty good um, just a lot of free just it's not well it's not like a huge amount of free stuff but every time there's a new episode uh there's a decent amount of free stuff right like it's more than you might think like it kind of surprises you how much extra just free stuff you get out of it um so that's pretty cool uh we got a new skin for shermia uh we'll talk about that when we get there ui improvements who cares um as someone who's been playing this game sort of on minimum maintenance this entire time you would like that's kind of when all these button presses aren't that big a deal to you because you don't play enough. Like I don't play, I don't play. I get on maybe play one or two hours a day, if that. Right. Sometimes I don't even get on at all, um, and I miss Guild War <laughs> because of that happens. But anyway, um, it doesn't bother me as much. But again, if you're playing this a lot, you know, all these button presses add up, and then like the fact that they're kind of annoying, you know, it gets there, right? Uh, so that's there's that. Um, Apparently we're getting World Arena changes, but again, I wasn't too versed in World Arena to know. To, I don't even remember what the changes were from last season to the season that just ended. So now we're having ch changes from that season to the new season, and I'm just like, okay. Uh, for those of you who saw that RTA um, speedrun, or not speedrun, but you know what I mean, like <laughs> last minute grind, uh, I barely even noticed any of these like things because I don't play enough RTA. This might change, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so here we go again some more uh, this one's pretty nice we'll see this one when we get there uh, I saw the first one of this and I stopped here so I don't know anything about any of this other stuff um, so this one is a pretty good change too so we'll you know we'll get there uh, side story no one cares uh, again there's this nobody cares and Shermia as you can see Shermia's skin looks amazing I mean you can see Zabs um, yeah, Shermia's skin looks pretty awesome. Um, Shermia looked pretty cool normally. Um, getting a sort of um, a beach skin on top of that is just icing on the cake. Um, I think it's kind of a... What's the word? It's kind of like... It kind of makes me sad sometimes just to see characters that nobody really uses get uh, a skin like this that's this good because uh, you're not going to see it very often. Nobody cares, right? Um... Uh, yeah, like Momo got a pretty nice uh, summer skin, but nobody uses Momo, and nobody used her at the time. Um, I mean, they use her for PvE stuff, so that's all right, but, like, in general, like, you would think... Like, the thing is, it'd be better... Like, they need to have focused skins, because a lot of their, like, marketing... Especially they had that tournament, that RTA tournament, and a lot of your stuff, you kind of want to promote this as a sort of a, you know, a competitive game, right? So a lot of your marketing is going to come from good getting skins for good characters otherwise it's like why do i want the skin if it's not an in meta character right and i'm not gonna be able to use it so that's kind of interesting like i feel like they would sell more skins if um the skins were for characters anybody really cared about right um but yeah so as it is now i think the skin is awesome i'm gonna get it um i'm gonna love the skin however uh, i'm not gonna use it i'm not gonna see it very often because um <laughs> sure I mean, nobody cares right nobody uses sure I mean, yeah. um so yeah i think it looks pretty cool um, I'm glad to have it. I'm never going to hate on a more revealing skin. Uh, UI improvements, like I said, relatively minor. We've got World Arena frenzy changes, which... So theoretically we're getting less barriers, which 
is nice. It's not like barriers weren't oppressive or anything, but they were kind of annoying, right? I think most of us, and in this barrier effect, uh, I think it just stacks with frenzy. So the more frenzy it is, the more barriers are decreased, which is um, pretty good because it means that someone like MLCC keeps her value at the beginning, and then later on she drops off, which is fine, right? Um, but yeah, I think other than that, it's a pretty decent change. Uh, values adjusted. Um, the speed of Soul Weavers increased by 15, changed to 7. So they decreased that. I'm not sure why, because I don't think anybody was complaining that Soul Weavers were moving too fast now. Um, but yeah, that's just me, I think. I don't know. That's up to everybody individually. Uh, yeah, so I don't, like I said, I don't really... It's fine, I guess. I, somebody thought it was uh, trouble. Uh, this is, I actually like this one. Again, it's not that big a change, but like, it's nice to finally see just the skills and their cooldowns attached to them. Uh, instead of having to look down and like click on it and be like, oh, this is like how many turns left or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I admit, like, some of these changes are like, why weren't they there from the beginning? Like, I'm not sure what, you know, who's in charge and why they didn't really think that this needed to be here. Um, so yeah, whatever. So this is the first, one of the first major changes that I think, obviously, like, my, the things I'm most interested in are what's going to change or affect the meta. And uh, crit damage set, I think, is going to be a decent contender. Is it going to shake up the meta? Probably not. Um, what di what dictates the meta? Speed, right? Uh, and speed is still speed. So you're not going to take anybody off speed set to put crit damage set. Some you might, again. But if you need someone to go fast, they still need speed set to go fast. If you need someone to do a lot of damage, um, they're going to go with now crit damage. It just seems to me like the best... Um, the word just the best choice for high damaging units um before there are some units that are kind of on the mid on the midpoint right some units um need speed and they need to be they need a decent amount of damage so you put a speed set on them and then you try to get as much crit damage attack and all those stats as possible with crit damage being so valuable now there's an argument to be made where it's like, let's run them on crit damage set and then try to get as much speed through that crit damage set as possible, right? Um, and I think we're gonna see a lot a lot of units transition over to that. Like I said, not all of them and not enough to really make a difference because take it this way, you're gonna see people hit certain milestones easier. So let's say like a Landy, right? You run Landy, make her like 200 speed, or something like that, 180, and then make her do as much damage as possible. You're gonna switch her over to crit damage set. She's probably gonna do the same amount of damage um, with 180 speed as well anyway, right? It's just easier to get there. Now other people are going to have an easier chance to get their 180, 200 speed landy while dealing a huge amount of damage, right? Keep that in mind. Like I said, is it going to be exactly the same? Not exactly. You're going to kind of separate a few people. Like, you're, you know, some landies are going to be faster now and some are going to be slower just because the crit damage set seems to them to be more valuable. Um, but yeah, I think, like, certain units you can switch over on this, like... Um, I think for, for, I mean, personally, right, I, I kind of love this because that means that my Dilibet is now going to hit even harder. Like, she already one-shots, she can one-shot whole teams with her S3. Um, again, they have to be kind of squishy, right? But she can already one-shot whole teams with her S3, and now another 20% crit damage on top of that, like, it's insane. Um, ML Shermia, I think, is going to boost up pretty significantly just because she also... Uh, not everyone, right? It's up to the individual, but I would probably run a crit damage set on her just to maximize how much... Um, damage I'm getting from dual scaling. Uh, and like I said, like in general, most dual scaling heroes are going to do well with crit damage set just because crit damage multiplies both the damage you're getting from attack and the damage you're getting from your health scaling or whatever other alternative scaling. Uh, so I think this is going to be a uh, pretty interesting change. Um, who's another? Like, a, like Alencia is already kind of being looked at in the meta now just because of some of her recent changes. And I think with this set, you can actually run Alencia on a crit damage set and then try to get as much speed on her as possible because... One of the things you run into when you're building Alencia is having too much speed on her. So how about we just take the speed set off, build a crit damage set, have a bunch of crit damage stacked on her, and then build a bunch of speed, and then you can't really overcap on the speed, right? You don't have to worry about overcapping the speed um, with the crit damage set. Because sometimes the thing about Alencia is you don't want her to go too fast, right? If you go too fast, you're going to go before some of their uh, buffers go up, and then her strip is useless. This way, if you make her a little slower... Um, again, you, you kind of want her to be fast to some degree, but if you make it a little slower, uh, she'll be able to go and strip everything after their buffers go. Uh, so keep that in mind. But anyway, like I said, uh, we're probably going to see a few units change over to this. Um, I'm excited to see what this change is going to have on the meta. Uh, so 60%, pretty good. 
all these changes also are making basically Banshee more useful because now, I mean, a lot of people are already farming it for um, counter set, and now we're also farming it for crit damage set, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's take a look here. After attacking, max health by 6%. After attacking, decreases up to 6%. Oh, this is very interesting. Um, I'm not sure. There's no real unit who uses injury set um, that, uses, that focuses on single target because... Um, Rem and what's her name and uh, Bellion are really the only two injury set users that we have right now. I've been trying to build like an injury set Armin as well as an injury set um, what's her name as well as an injury set SSB. Of course, these are all experimental and and probably not very <laughs> useful. Uh, but the point being that uh, with these with this change, I, I I don't really see anybody using the single target. Um, yeah, the single target version of this, like caring too much about them inflicting injuries on a single target basis. Um, the thing that makes Bellion and Rem so good with this is that you could just spread it across the entire team, and especially Bellion after like two or three counterattacks. After two counterattacks, you're at 12. After three, you're at 18. So you're like 20% HP is gone. Um, and if you can't kill her fast enough, that starts to rack up. And then you hit the wall of like 50% pretty easily. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I don't think this is going to change anything. Uh, most people like the only the only thing that made this viable is um, the AOE aspect of it. Um, I think doubling it isn't really going to help anybody for single target. Uh, Constellation change. Let's see what this is. Okay, so we didn't even get to see that. I have the other thing open, so we'll go look at it and see what that is. Hopefully, it's not too complicated because I looked at I looked through that and it was just a bunch of charts everywhere. And I was like, oh, I don't know what this means. Uh, Guild War conquest season begins. Blah blah. blah Guild War. Side store. I think that's basically everything uh, from our side. Oh, actually, here's the banners we're getting. Uh, I think Shu, funnily enough, I was just talking about crit damage set, and I think Shu is a good candidate for that. Personally, I kind of am too tempted to run her on counter set just to have, because she has a built in um, Elbrus, right? And I kind of want to run her on counter set just to have, like, general. But I might end up just building her on crit damage set just to get as much um, damage as I can possibly get out of her. Because um, she looks like a lot of fun these days. Uh, I need to build her, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually almost even tempted to pull on her banner to get more copies of her, because I've already got, like, three or four, and, like, maybe one or two, and I can already get her to triple S. Um, probably won't, just because, like I said, I already have so many. Uh, Shermia's coming back, like I said, uh, conjunction with the skin. Uh, I don't think, you know, you can pull for Shermia if you want. She's just not very meta-relevant meta right now. Um, and this is this is actually pretty good. I like this for... I mean, some people like to run this on Lilius, Commander Lilius. Uh, I like to run this on my um, ML Kawazu. It's a, it's a lot of fun on him. Speed and attack percentage are what he wants, basically. Uh, Caesarea is back again. Um, I think, unlike SSB, where SSB, you can just pull her, and she's going to be insanely good on whatever team. Uh, Isaria is not that same thing, so unless you have like a lot of um, strippers and debuffers built... Uh, specifically strippers. Like if you have good strippers, then obviously Caesarea is going to work there. Um, yeah, she's kind of, you know, she's alright, right? She's not like the best, but not the worst. She's insanely annoying, I won't deny that. The new Mystic Rotation um, is coming up, so... Operator Cigarette was pretty good at the beginning when she came out because she just dumpstered anybody with shields. Uh, I haven't seen her a lot now, um, even on other people's things. Again, she's not gone she's still there she like disintegrates anybody with a shield um just that uh she's not as you know whatever as she used to be um and she's also not as fast right it's just a speed thing like you can use her and stomp on certain teams but in high level rta where like you you're squeezing as much speed as you can uh she's gonna lose to like a pieria almost every time or like a ran almost every time right so keep that in mind um Here's, uh, what's her name? Um, ML Mercedes. Uh, or Archdemon Mercedes, I guess, because ML Mercedes is a four-star. But anyway, Archdemon Mercedes. Uh, she's fine. Uh, like I, I mentioned before, she's more irritating than anything else. Um, she doesn't really do a whole lot to threaten your team in terms of, like, oh, no, we're going to die to her. But she's certainly really irritating because she's got a strip. If you I think if you build her on Nyella's or now the, the other one, and a lot of people have her on counter set. Uh, she's annoying to kill. Uh, she's constantly sealing stuff and, you know, AOEing everybody, blinding them and whatnot, so she's just a really annoying unit and that's hard to kill, right? That's kind of the main thing with her. And then obviously, I think we all know my thoughts on Dilibet. If you don't have Dilibet, I'd pull for Dilibet. Um, 
yeah, I would pull for Dilibet, but like I said, um, ML, uh, what's her name? ML Vivian is coming out soon, and who knows what she does, right? That's that's kind of like you gotta weigh that option. Uh, so it's up to you guys to decide that. But personally, I you know out of out of these three, I'd, I'd take her, and uh, out of like what's come out recently, like in the past, and what's coming out in the future, probably still just gonna be Dilibet. Um, so let's see what else we got here. Coin shop rotation. Okay. So we got ML Ravi, which is pretty cool. Um, got these two, which nobody cares. Uh, ML him is whatever. So if anybody doesn't have any coin shops, I would pull for ML Ravi just because she's so strong. Um, like that, that'd be a pretty decent combo. Like imagine just going for your mystics and burning a pity on Dilibet and then pulling for uh, Ravi. It'd be insane. Or using your coins on Ravi. It'd be insane. And that's it. So let's kind of take a look at these. Uh, what am I looking at here? Uh, yeah. So let's take a look at. No, we don't care about any of this stuff. Soul Weaver Constellation Adjustment. So this isn't going to be too useful because I don't remember who, which Soul Weavers, Soul Weavers are on what. Oh, here they are. So they have the, the names listed out here. So let's take a look here. So it says here uh, Taurus. Awaken stats. So current, and they're going to be changed to this. So not everything's being changed. This person is getting a Tauruses are getting 400 from four. They're getting more HP, which is good, obviously. And they're getting seven more speed. So this is probably why they reduced the speed in RTA. That speed gain that Soul Weavers have. They just gave it to a lot of them across the board. Um, so all Tauruses are going to get seven more speed here. Are going to have seven more speed by the end of whatever. Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, so those are the main changes there. Uh, five star ray. So I think these are examples. So ray is now going to have this much health and this much speed, and four stars are going to have this much. So four, five star, a uh, six star, no, a five star um, Taurus versus a four star Taurus. So you can compare and see what uh, you know the differences between their stats. Gemini's. Uh, let's see. So Gemini's are getting. What's going on here? Ooh, Gemini's are losing speed. Very interesting. That's kind of like. Are we? I don't know. Oh look, and it tells you basically who's affected. So the, we only have two Taurus Soul Weavers, and I guess it's these two. That's very interesting. Um. So here we're getting four speed is lost here and getting replaced with effect resistance, but they're getting two more speed here somewhere else somehow. Um. <laughs> yeah, how that works, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see here. It's not too bad. Uh, effect resistance is this much, and we should be around this much because of this 12 here, right? Okay. So, Deanne, Elena, Shuna. Who's Shuna? Oh, Shuna's the, uh, yeah, the collab unit. And Amelia. Amelia's getting more speed. That's good. Um, I'm obviously, I'm happy about that. <laughs> My Amelia needs more speed. And they're getting more effect resistance, which is really good. Uh, Katie's and Oxlots. Akadis is pretty, or just lots, I mean. His is pretty good, more effect resistance, and having more speed isn't too bad. Uh, but I like this change for uh, Amelia, more specifically. Cancers are getting, let's see, a speed increase here. Wow, that's a lot of speed. That's like 11. Damn, that's a whole 11 speed. That's crazy. Who's included in this? The only 5-star Cancer we have is Destina, which Destina has, like, the biggest problem with her speed. Everyone else is kind of like, who cares? Like, okay, Angelica... Shooting Star Arcades and Kizuna Eye are kind of slow, but nobody cares about them, right? The, this change was mainly for Destina to become decently relevant. Um, is it going to help her very much? <sighs> Not more than her other buffs. Like I said, that Revival buff is kind of just overshadowing everything else. So if this helps her, good, uh, but it's not going to help her as much as that Revival thing did. Uh, Doris and Magic Scholar Doris. Uh, just more speed on her. Um, it's fine, right? Like, she's already a decent unit. Virgos. Damn, Virgos is getting a bunch of changes. Um... They're getting more speed here. So Virgo is, I guess, going to be like the quote-unquote speed class. They're going to make them all just a lot faster. Because they're already decently fast. I mean, not that fast, but, you know, keep in mind. Uh, made Chloe. So Made Chloe having more speed. Basically, they just made Chloe... Made Made Chloe better. She's going to have more health, more defense, and more speed. Wow, that's a lot of defense. 720 to start? How much did she have before? Wow, 680 and boost up to 720. That's not bad. As a base boost, that's like this is this is before factoring in multipliers. So if you put any defense on her, that just means you're gonna get more out of those defense stats. That's pretty good. Um, I'd like to see what uh, this will do to make Chloe. Ren again, nobody cares. The main thing she cares about is the speed. 
and Lucy. Uh, nobody cared about Lucy either, so you know, take that as you will. Uh, Libra. This is this is probably the boring part. So hopefully, anybody who didn't want to watch any of this has already skipped because I'm just gonna go through here and just look at who's getting buffed. Um, Libra is interesting just because there's only one, <laughs> which is Ether. So this doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, it's got more speed. Well, I got a whole lot more speed. Like damn, went up to 107. Yeah, it's 11 speed again. Uh, more health, more attack, which is fine. But nobody uses Aether, so it's fine. Sagittarius. Uh, let's see who's under Sagittarius. Tamarin and DJ Basar. These are the main ones I'm looking for. So let's take a look at the speed. So our speed went up three points, which isn't too bad. Um, it's just that DJ Basar needs a decent amount of speed. Why we got effectiveness, I'm still kind of annoyed about that. You can just take this and dump it into effective resistance and nobody would care. But the fact that Tamarin has a lot of stuff that she can do, like her strip on her S1, that's not actually a lot. That's, you know, <laughs> a d like one thing she can do. And DJ Basar theoretically stuns with his S1. Um, I don't think those two skills are justification enough to, like, sacrifice effect resistance to put it in effectiveness. <laughs> Like I said, I would have much rather just had 30% effect resistance because this is, like, dumb. I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Uh, like I said, so we're getting more speed. D Blaze Dingo, Jekt, and Inos are getting more speed. Uh, more health. More more, more attack, actually. This is this is kind of annoying because a lot of them scale with health, with attack. And DJ Basar, some of his, he his healing scales with attack, which means we just wasted stats to boost an attack stat so they can heal more when you could have just made them... Um, I'm not going to rant about that, but... No, that's why they gave them more attack. Um, like DJ, like like Blingo here makes sense because he's a damage dealer too. But whatever. Uh, let's take a look at this here. Effectiveness. Do we get to see? Exception. Oh, this is the three star versions. Okay, uh, nobody really cares. No three stars. No one. Anybody uses. Um, Aquarius. Looks like it's got a pretty decent stat jump. We got nine speed. Uh, let's see who's Aquarius Soul Reaver six. Okay. Hazel, oh, Hazel and Mascot Halo is the only one. She's faster, and she gets basically stats across the board. Pretty cool. Uh, Pisces, effect resistance increase, and effect resistance. Okay, so uh, this is pretty interesting. Ruel of Light, Mo uh, Rowana, and Blood Moon Haste are now getting more defense, uh, more speed, which is interesting because these two do not need more speed. She does, but these two do not. So this feels like kind of wasted stats, like I'd prefer to have it here or something. But that's, you know, to each their own. Effect resistance is good because Ruel kind of wants a lot of effect resistance and Rana kind of does. Blood Moon Haze can take it or leave it, but you just want him to deal a lot of damage with his S3. And, um, yeah, just sit there and tank. Uh, and, and heal off of that too, obviously. Frenzy adjustments. Here's the exact breakdown of it. Like I said, these don't make, these don't really make that much of a difference. Like you don't have to, like, like, you can do good in RTA without knowing what these numbers are, right? As long as you just know the general gist of it. So... Stage 1, we got 5%, where we used to get 10%. So these look like they've been cut almost in half across the board. Somewhere they separate. So up to round 4, it's 50 and 40. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, round 1 is half. Round 2 is half. Round 3 is not half. So somewhere in there. Um, effectiveness is, hasn't changed. We got more... So we're decreasing max health faster than we were before, which makes aggressive teams a lot better. Um, the earlier on here doesn't make any difference, right? So up to round six. And most games are, are kind of determined by round six or five. Um, so this just kind of makes it so that, like, people hurry up. Uh, healing decrease is already kind of, we know that. Uh, decreased healing effect. New decreased barrier effect. And this is a whole new thing. So from turn one, the first stage of Frenzy, we're already getting 10% barrier reduction. Uh, oh my gosh. By the time you're at wave 10, barriers are useless. It's pretty interesting. Um, of course, the, the Soul Weaver thing, um, we still have Covenant Heroes attacked, advantageous... Oh, I forgot this thing, this change got here too. So when a Covenant Hero is attacked by an advantageous element, damage received decreases by 30%. So they left this in here, so fire now takes less damage from grass. Which is, I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, okay. I mean, no one's attacking into... I guess some people are. Like, I, I crow into... Um, into, what's it called? I crow into violets sometimes just to kill them. Um, and my damage is going to be reduced by 30%. On top of the 50% that I'm already getting reduced because it's elemental disadvantage. So, you know, whatever. 
Um, and then of course we got Soul Weavers. They lost um, lost eight speed here. And they did not, so they lost eight speed here because all soul weavers got a speed boost. Most soul weavers got a speed boost, but they did not get enough to make up that eight percent, that eight percent, or that eight speed difference, which is fine. You know, it is what it is. Uh, is there anything else here we need to see? I guess we're getting. Do we have to buy this? Yeah, this is a purchase thing. I think I thought we were just giving that to us. Are they changing? What does this mean? Are they changing values or something? Look at this, five percent or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's whatever. I think they said something about equipment. Oh, this is uh whatever. Let's see what else they have here. So those are there. Oh, I think yeah, we're getting that uh, gear from Guild from Guild Gear. Air Japanese Media Pack integration. Didn't even acknowledge the. Aria Centers. <laughs> Look at all these comments. Uh, didn't even acknowledge the show. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. No one here is saying anything um, intelligent. Uh, so yeah, that, that was this patch. These patch notes, patch preview. Um, like I said, my main thing is like PvP and um, probably the only change that really is going to make too much of a difference is the crit damage um, buff changes. The Soul Weaver changes are decent, but I don't think they're going to really affect. You're not going to notice. You're going to be using um, you're going to be using your Soul Weavers, and you're not going to notice like, oh, after this patch came out, my Soul Weavers are now tankier and they're like more useful, um, right? It's just like who cares? <laughs> they're just going to be slightly better. It's just non-noticeable. Um, yeah, like I said, but I do think that crit damage set is gonna like, it's gonna make some people pretty ridiculous. Um, so, for those of you who've been farming counter set, you probably have a lot of crit damage set pieces lying around. You might want to try to throw those in there on some units and see how much more damage you're gonna get out of them. Um, but uh, yeah, until uh, until next time, until uh, I'm gonna have to do Guild War later today, and then uh, that video will probably be released tomorrow, and this one's being released uh, today. Uh, so yeah, till then. Um, See you guys in the next video.